Good morning, y'all. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina with a quick fishing report for your weekend outlook. We are excited because we've got a nice little weather window we're on the doorstep of right now. Backside of a little bit of turbulent condition, but very, very nice weather coming up here at the end of this weekend, start of the coming work week. We're on the back side of this little front, on the front side of a little bit of a high pressure. So things are gonna stabilize, but that barometer is still gonna be moving. We're also on the back side of a new moon. We still got some pretty good moving tides, but we're coming up to that first quarter moon Monday. So tides are gonna start slowing down a little bit. But with moving barometer and still a pretty decent moving volume of water, fishing should be pretty good through the end of this weekend and the start of the coming work week. Definitely looks best weather-wise Sunday, Monday. And then on the backside of that little high pressure spell midweek, it looks like we have a really good second half of the work week around Friday. Looks spectacular. However, stay tuned because weather this time of year can fluctuate greatly. Fishing-wise, we're doing really well out there, catching a lot of different species. Offshore right now, really focused on those big red grouper. We're seeing a lot of big kingfish. The wahoo are out there and about offshore, plus big mangrove snapper, trigger fish, yellowtail snapper have been super cooperative. Nice big vermilions, porgies, almacos, and so much more. A little bit shallower near shore, the red grouper bite has actually picked up considerably. We're seeing some nice red grouper action. Hogfish bite has slowed down a little bit, but those red grouper are filling in the holes. We are seeing a lot of lane snapper, a pretty steady mangrove snapper bite and just a ton of mackerel mackerel and kingfish mackerel and kingfish are here we've got a lot of kings around right now so great time to be trolling out on our five hour half days or long range trips or flatlining on a 10 hour trip or hitting one of these private fishing charters for some trolling and flatline fun remember we could do a private charter for just three hours on the hub and you can go out there and troll around and catch a bunch of mackerel and kingfish for a, a pretty decent price less than 600 bucks so really great way to spend the day on a private fishing charter for a pretty darn good value or hit up one of the party boats and you can always troll on the way out for those kingfish and mackerel as well especially on those five hours and then longer range trips inshore right now we're seeing a lot of the snook action a lot of sheep's head still around mangrove snapper are picking up the trout bite remains pretty darn hot even though the water has started to warm up a little bit we're seeing a lot of the tarpon return already a lot of those juvenile sharks back out on the beaches the whiting are biting well we're seeing some spotty pompano action good time inshore as well remember we've got final friday coming up at the end of the month every last friday of the month this month the last friday of the month is april 26 6 to 9 p.m we're going to be having a grand time here inside john's pass hopefully you can join us also don't forget as well every saturday morning 6 a.m to 8 a.m we have our real animals radio show every sunday night 7 30 p.m we've got our live stream show and then also guys keep in mind as well we've got tons of other stuff going on so stay tuned uh, we've got big news coming up April 29th uh, around midday. We're going to release some huge news that we're going to need your help with. So mark your calendar for that. And then also just got back from Alabama from our federal fisheries meeting, the Gulf of Mexico Fishery Management Council meeting. And this Sunday night during the live show, we're going to go over a lot of information from that meeting. But uh, stay tuned for that. You definitely want to not miss Sunday night's show because we're going to be reviewing what happened at the meeting. But highlights, we've got Red Grouper closing uh, June 30th. That's the last day for our Red Grouper. We have Amberjack season opening for the month of May. That was a huge surprise, not expecting that at all. Uh, so that's actually a benefit of, uh, of some NOAA fisheries slow rulemaking. Uh, kind of worked in our favor. So uh, like one of those things, uh, do not pass go, collect hundred bucks kind of thing. I don't, I don't know. I, very strange, but we'll talk more about that Sunday night. So we've got Amberjack open in May, uh, September, and October this year, and then also 
gag grouper season. We're going to hear more about that hopefully very soon. Red snapper and much more. Definitely tune in Sunday night for all the updates. Uh, also, some exciting news about our deep water closures potentially as well. So stay tuned. Don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Hopefully, you guys have a great weekend and tight lines from all of us here at Hubbard's Marina.